Welcome back to Utah Trags. Over the past few years, recumbent trikes have grown quite a bit in popularity as a comfortable and safe alternative to traditional bicycles. An important part of a trike to a lot of our customers is the safety element. So today we want to talk about the safety of recumbent tricycles and see how safe they really are. So stay tuned. Before we get into trike safety, let's take a look around the shop because we have an awesome trike highlight to show you all today. The trike that has been bouncing around the shop this week is a custom Azev Tyfly X and a crazy eye-catching neon yellow paint shop. A trike like this is sure to get people's attention and not just because of its neon getup. For performance, this trike comes with a roll-off in the rear and a Bafang Ultra motor in the front. This is one of the best upgrades you can put on a trike. You get a 1000 watt motor that has a capacity for 1400 watts for extra torque. This motor has throttle activation for ease of access riding and upgraded pedal assist from the standard Bethangs with a torque sensor. In combination with the roll-off, which exponentially increases your gear range while making shifting the easiest thing in the world, not to mention the double battery setup too, which turns this trike into an absolute riding machine. Beyond that, it's just absolutely stacked with accessories like the King Cargo Rack, Fret and Rear Fenders, Azov's Premium C, a headrest, and a lighting kit. With all of that on top of the Tifly X's full suspension frame, we can tell that our customer Billy is really going to have a blast with his custom build. Now, let's talk about the safety of a recumbent trike. In one of our previous videos a few weeks ago titled, Why Ride a Trike? We touched on the reasons that a lot of our newsletter readers ride trikes. Many of our riders like to ride trikes for a wide variety of reasons. One of the major ones being the increased safety of our traditional bicycle. In this video, we're going to talk about our perspective on how safe we think recumbent trikes really are. Now, when you look at a recumbent trike, you'll notice that besides looking really cool, they are characterized by a few different design features that are made to enhance safety. For a lower center of gravity, your seating position is much lower to the ground, usually diverting most of your weight towards the rear of the trike. This way, they are more stable than your average bicycle. This low center of gravity causes weight to be distributed evenly so that you remain balanced at all times on your trike. The low center of gravity combined with the three-wheel structure of a trike greatly reduces the risk of tipping or suffering accidents associated with loss of balance. Another plus to recumbent trikes is that you can ride slower without being concerned that you're going to lose your balance. When riding a bicycle, if you aren't pedaling enough or going too slow, it can get harder to balance, especially if you already struggle with balancing or haven't ridden a bike in a while. This isn't the case with a trike though. You can go at a slow and steady pace or you can go total pedal to the metal. There's nothing to worry about when you're rocking three wheels. Another safety feature of recumbent trikes is the reclined seating position that makes a recumbent trike a recumbent trike. Because your seat is reclined, it offers better spinal alignment than a traditional bicycle would. When you're riding a bicycle, your back is usually hunched over and arched. But on a recumbent trike, you are laid back and relaxed. It's even in our slogan that we see at the end of every video. Relax, spin fast, ride trikes. Being able to relax while riding your trike is a major factor of a trike's appeal. The ergonomic approach to rider positioning not only enhances comfort and allows you to relax, but it also has the potential to reduce strain injuries to the back and neck. It can also make trikes easier to get in and out of. Certain varieties of trikes are especially easy to get on with their upright posture. Ease of mounting a trike is determined by how low or upright the seat is, but even so, many trikes have handlebars or entry aids that you can use for leverage when getting in and out. If these options don't come stock, we offer a variety of different exit and entry aids, such as our UT Custom Easy Entry Aids and Catrack Exit Assist Bars, letting you make any trick more accessible for you. One of the last safety features that we'll mention is being lower to the ground. Being positioned lower to the ground means that in the unlikely event of an accident, falls from a recumbent trike typically involve a shorter drop, reducing the potential severity of fall-related injuries. Falling off of a bicycle can result in potentially devastating injuries, especially if you're an older person. With trikes, even if the possibility isn't zero, it's definitely an improvement. With the possibility of having an accident never being zero, in our next section we're going to talk about some safety tips and tricks to keep in mind to keep yourself safe when riding. Before we get into our tips and tricks, we want to make a note that when starting any new recreational activity, it is important to be aware of any potential safety concerns that may come with it. By knowing about possible dangers that come with riding a trike, you can implement good safety practices to help you avoid getting hurt. If you're interested in how to ride safely, check out our video on the topic where we give you the full rundown on how to ride your trike and avoid any dangers while riding. 
Since that video, we have wanted to highlight even more ways to share trike safety, so we came up with a couple more that we will discuss in this video. Number one, be seen. Just like any other small vehicle, an essential fact to keep in mind is that you are smaller and harder to see than any vehicle larger than you. When riding a trike, it's always important to make sure that you are seen by these vehicles and that you know where they are at all times. A great way to increase your visibility is to use a trike flag. A flag is great because it adds a lot of height to your ride. Most flags stick up a couple feet above your trike, letting taller vehicles who may have a harder time seeing a trike so low to the ground know you're there. It gives drivers the opportunity to stop and slow down when approaching you. To go along with a flag's visibility, wearing bright colors, reflective materials, or high-vis clothing is a good idea too. Bright colors make it so that there is a greater chance that other riders and people on the road will see you. You can never have too much visibility with a trike. Our last tip for being seen is lights. Lights make a huge difference for being seen. Now you may think that a light is only good for riding in dim light, but you would actually be mistaken. A good light can keep you safe at all hours of the day. A bright flashing front light and even a flashing red rear light can make all the difference if a larger vehicle is able to spot you or not. These lights are eye-catching even in the light of day. But at the very least, a good rule of thumb is that if you're in a situation where you can't see what's going on around you, there's a good chance that you're not being seen. So especially if you're doing morning or night riding, make sure to get yourself a light to avoid accidents with other people. If you would like to pick up a light, we have so many options on our website and you can find a link in the description. Now next to staying visible, there's being aware of the other things around you too, which brings up our next safety recommendation. This next feature that we have to mention is mirrors. Mirrors give you that extra bit of visibility that can make all the difference. A mirror gives you the advantage of being able to see what's going on around and behind you without having to look over your shoulder constantly. Mirrors are definitely a must have for any safe trike ride. If you don't have a mirror or if you would like to add another mirror to your trike, you can find them to purchase on our website. Next up is how to protect yourself to avoid potential injuries. Our first tip is pedals. In one of our recent videos, we talked about the dangers of leg suck and things we can do to avoid it. We won't cover leg suck in depth in this video, but if you want a detailed look into leg suck and how to avoid it, you can find that video in the top right corner. Leg suck is an occurrence where your legs get sucked underneath your trike while you're moving. This can happen when you take your legs off of the pedals too soon, or if your foot slips off of the pedals and down to the ground while riding. Leg suck has the potential to cause injuries, but with the right pedals, this isn't a worry. Pedals with a strap or something that can hold your foot, like our UT Custom Hill Support pedals do a great job at preventing leg suck. Aside from buying special pedals to keep your feet locked into your trike, as long as you keep your feet on the pedal, you're gonna be fine. As you probably could have guessed, one of the most important things that you can do to protect yourself while riding a trike is to wear a helmet. A helmet can be the number one difference between you being fine and you having a serious injury. It's not a joke. Please wear a helmet. Now that you have your gear and are all ready to get on the road, here's some things to keep in mind while you're riding. Try to stay on bike paths and lanes if you can. These spaces are designed for trikes and bikes, and your best bet for staying safe is to stay out of traffic and in your specific lane. If there are no bike paths or lanes around you, own the road. Bikes and trikes are considered vehicles on the road and you have the same rights as any other vehicle. If you hug the side of the road, some drivers might get reckless. So stay in the middle of your lane and obey all the traffic laws. Be aware of your surroundings and if something doesn't feel right, it probably isn't right. If you run into trouble and you get a flat, pull over to a safe location and get it fixed or call for help. It's always a good idea to bring essentials with you when you're going on a ride. What essentials you bring differs from person to person, but we recommend bringing extra water and flat repair tools. One note for people considering riding recumbent trikes or people who have just started riding. The unique way that a recumbent trike is designed may require a period of adjustment. However, understanding how a trike handles and practicing your ride can contribute to safer riding experiences. With a wide base and low center of gravity, recumbent trikes are remarkably stable and tend to handle well at higher speeds compared to traditional bicycles. New riders should take it slow initially and dedicate some time to becoming accustomed to the different handling and riding style of recumbent trikes. It's so important to practice until you feel confident with controlling the trike and are comfortable with its maneuverability and braking system. We here at Utah Trikes are extremely dedicated to safety and we're always looking for ways to make our trikes safer and better equip our customers with the tools to stay safe. We have tons of different options of trikes and we love to customize them so that they're perfect for you. 
That's all we have for today. If you want to learn more about any of the products mentioned in this video, their links will be in the description below. We hope this video was informative of all the ways Treg apply safer writing and how to be even more prepared as a writer. If you like this video, remember to leave a like and subscribe and leave a comment down below letting us know what you do to keep yourself safe while riding your trikes. And with that, remember to relax, spin fast, and ride trikes. I'll catch you guys next time. That's our song, I guess. Because we have an awesome trike to highlight for you today. Premium C and a headrest rest. Headrest rest? Headrest rest. Headrest rest. Make sure to get the headrest rest so you can headrest your rest head. Oh, <laughs> in and out. When getting in and out. Someone just stole my words. It's the word wizard. Give me your words, child. I'm going to make alphabet soup. <laughs> Yoink. That's a Sesame Street episode. Being positioned low to the ground means that in the unlikely event of an accident. <laughs> Cut the video there. I'm valuable. Yay. <laughs> Movies are definitely. <laughs> oh. Mirrors are definitely a must have for any safe trike ride. This can happen when you take your pedals off of the pedal. Off the legs, take your pedals off the legs. Off the legs. Oh my God. <laughs> but you would actually be mistaken. <gasps> yeah! Let's go. Let's go home.